Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. For those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my favorite patrons, always double salute. Now, today's video, we're actually going to talk about how to use Credit Sesame debit card to build credit fast. Yes, it's a lot of uh, people starting to realize that, hey, I can't get a credit card and I don't want a hard inquiry, so maybe I can use a debit card. Well, we're going to talk not only about Credit Sesame debit card, but I'm going to tell you some of the easiest credit cards you can get to help build up your uh, personal credit real fast, all right? Now, let's get into the data points of this. With Credit Sesame, one of the things about it, there's no hard credit check, and it's a revolving line of credit, okay? Now, here's the thing about it. Credit Sesame themselves, they're not the ones that's actually opening up this account for you or holding your money into this debit account. They're actually using the Community Federal Savings Bank to open up the account on behalf of Credit Sesame. Okay, so understand that that Credit Sesame is not the one that's holding your money. The money is actually being held through Community Federal Savings Bank. Okay, now how this works is that you would have to transfer $100, minimum is $100, over into the account. Then Community Federal Savings Bank, they'll take $50 of that money and they will put it into a secured account. And so that's how you open up your account all right now here's something i want you all to understand all right in order to help you build credit i would suggest especially if you're trying to build up your credit i would suggest at least having the account open up for six months now that does not mean that it only reports after six months because once you open up the account and you use it they're going to report it anyway so the thing about it, I'm just saying in order to help to build a stronger credit file, at least have the account open for at least six months. Now, it will report to all three credit bureaus. Here's the thing that you have to understand. When you're going to be checking, of course, uh, Credit Sesame wants you to check your credit score with them. However, they are giving you a Vantage score. It's not your FICO score. Your Vantage score is, I wouldn't say equivalent, equal, excuse me, equal. I would not say your uh, Vantage score is equal to your FICO score because with your FICO score, your FICO score is what 90% of financials and institution utilizes, okay? to look at your scoring to determine if they want to give you funding. Now, here's a, another interesting thing. Like, there's a lot of financial institutions uh, that they will give you a Vantage score, but they actually pull your FICO score. Like American Express, um, Chase Bank, you have a Capital One. They will give you your Vantage 3 score which is through TransUnion, but they actually pull your FICO 8 credit score, okay? So that's the reason, like, when you see your Vantage score go up, don't think that that's your real actual FICO score that the banks actually pull from. Now, even like with the credit unions, credit unions, they use, like, your FICO score, they may use your FICO 5, 2, or your FICO 9. Now, if you're not familiar with which is your real FICO score, click the link in the description and get your real FICO score and schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation so I can go over it with you to explain it. But this is so important because it can end up being misleading because you may see your Vantage score go up. So you know how you use your Credit Karma, okay? Credit Karma uses Vantage score, Okay, so where you seeing your credit score, you thinking that, oh, I have a 680 or a 720 credit score, when your credit score can be off between 50 to 80 points. All right, so just be very careful. Like I said, Credit Sesame is going to show you your Vantage score, but that's not your real FICO score that the major banks are using. So you can understand that. Now, in terms of how to get the biggest impact, out of using this debit card to build up 
your personal credit and increase your credit score, you want to set it because it allows you to set your utilization. So to get the biggest impact, you want to make set sure that you set your utilization to 10% or less. All right. You don't want to go up to 30. You want to go up to 10% or less. The reason is, and you can add, continue to add money to the account. So don't miss understand you can do more than a hundred dollars if you want all right and whenever you want your actual money they'll just give you your money back but in terms of trying to help you build up credit you can uh at the minimum is a hundred dollar deposit fifty dollars going into a secured account but you can always increase that limit on your own right so if you want to try to show a higher credit line on your personal credit file so that you can get access to more funding because whatever your utilization that you set it to that's what they're going to report so say that you like i said i would set it to 10 percent or less the reason is because the the lesser amount you use out of that balance the higher your credit score goes up. So that's the reason you want to look at it like that. Now, I know some of you all may have uh, gotten the um, Credit Strong program, and because you're like, well, I got a $10,000 trade line on it. But here's the thing about it, because that account, just using it as an example so you can understand, because that account is a $10,000 already maxed out account, it's hurting your debt to income ratio. Okay? And granted, yeah, you're paying it down monthly, but the account is already maxed out, so it's actually hurting the credit. Okay? On one side, it's good because it's giving you a high credit limit, showing a high credit limit, but on the other side, because of the utilization, it's hurting your DTI so that you can have an understanding of that. All right, so just for an example um, of all transparency. Now, you want to set it up if you're going to be using 10% of, of that uh, debit card so that it can report, you want to set it up on auto payments, okay? So the good thing about it, there's no fees, no monthly fees on this, which really helps you. So this is how the Credit Sesame debit card works to help build up your credit. Now... Here's some other things to help you increase your credit score. Like, say that you have subscriptions, all right? So you have, like, grow credit, you have purchase stuff that report your subscriptions, car insurance, and things of that nature, right? So what you can do, say that you have that, um, that Credit Sesame debit card. You can, since it's a MasterCard debit card, you can use that to pay one of these services that's reporting your other subscriptions, all right. Also, these here companies, like if you have utility bills, they will report your utility bills as well. So that's the reason that you want to leverage this. But I'm trying to show you how to make this here work to where you get the biggest impact on your credit score. So you have the uh, Credit Sesame debit card. You use the Credit Sesame debit card MasterCard to pay for one of these subscriptions that's reporting your other subscriptions. So now you have multiple trade lines reporting on the credit file as well. Okay, you can also use uh, pledge loans and credit builder loans also. You also have Experian Boost. That's going to increase your, your Experian credit file. Now, I made a video about my FICO Ultra Boost, okay? And with the MyFICO Ultra Boost, it's going to help all three credit bureaus. So now you can use the Experian Boost to help your Experian go up, but the MyFICO Ultra Boost is going to help all three credit bureaus. Now, another thing that you can do is remove inquiries. Removing inquiries boosts up the credit score. Also, especially... Now, authorized users, the reason that I'm addressed this, because some of you guys may not know this, and reference to authorized users does help boost up the credit score. However, the credit scoring system that it will give you the biggest impact is on the FICO 9, 
Okay, with the FICO 9, it will help boost up the credit score. Your FICO 8, because your FICO 8 bank cards or whatever, most financial institutions don't include it. Don't calculate it in, all right? I'll tell you another thing that people are not aware. I know when you have um, charge-offs and collections, right, on your credit file. Here's another thing that FICO will do that's different than the Vantage score. If you pay off that charge off or collection down to zero, FICO will no longer count that as a negative to your credit file. Now, I know a lot of people said don't pay the collections, don't pay the charge offs and everything. Now, if you're going to do it that way, where it's already a charge off or collection, then what you're going to need to do, and I want you to pay attention to this because this is very important, what you're going to need to do you're going to have to ask them for a 1099C, a cancellation of debt, all right? That 1099C gives a cancellation of debt. That way you can cl claim whatever they canceled or charged off, say they charged off $10,000 credit card, right? And it's still reported. You would have to request a cancellation of debt. So now that $10,000 they charged off, you have to claim it on your taxes, all right, so you have to claim that as income on your taxes so that you can understand how this stuff works. A lot of people in the credit industry, the credit repair industry, they don't explain this stuff because many of them do not know about this stuff. So, again, so if you're not going to pay these charge off of collection, one of the reasons that I tell people to pay these charge off of collection, not only because FICO would, will not count it into your uh, credit score once it's paid off and give it some time. Uh, but another thing about it is that the, by paying these off, you have to look at it down the road. You'll be able to raise tens of thousands of dollars. So if you're going to let a $1,000 charge off stop you from raising tens of thousands of dollars, then that's where your mental challenge is. Because I'm telling you, if I were you and I had charge-offs or collections, and we're going to get back more into talking about the Sesame, uh, Sesame credit debit card and stuff like that and some other credit cards, but I just want you all to know that this is very important stuff, especially when you're trying to boost up your credit score. Okay, So if you have the charge-off, if you have the collections, and they've been on there. Either you're going to do a 1099C um, for a cancellation of debt, so you can claim that as income on your taxes, or you pay it off so FICO would no longer count it, okay? So that way your credit score can still increase. Now, here's another, uh, there's a couple other debit card apps out there as well as the, cre as the uh, Credit Sesame all right, and with that, you have the extra debit card app that you can download or do it through One Financial. Now, with the extra debit card app, it reports to two credit bureaus. It reports to Experian and the Equifax. All right, also by adding rent payments onto your credit file, that also boosts up your credit score as well. Okay, now here's another. De uh, secured card. It's a secured card. But the reason that I like this secured card because you can get this secured card with no social security number. You can get it with no credit history. Okay, so even if you have bad credit, you still can qualify for this. And it's going to report to the credit bureaus as well. And the maximum you can put on this card is $10,000. But the good thing about it, after four months of good payment history, this comes into, this turns into an unsecured card, okay? Now, uh, easier, if you're going to be using the debit card app from Credit Sesame and you have money coming into your checking account, then you also want to apply for the credit.ai card. The reason is, because as long as you show activity in your bit in your excuse me in your personal checking account, they will give you a unsecured Visa credit card 
with a credit limit of $1,500, all right? Now make sure, again, if you want to boost up your credit score, have the biggest impact, make sure you only use 10% or less of that card. I know a lot of people said 30%. Hey, if you have to, it is what it is, but I would definitely try to keep it around 10%. Now, you also have another card that you can get uh, with new credit or no credit or bad credit. It's the Tomo card, okay? And their limits go from 100 up to 10,000, all right? So these are... And this one is through Community Federal Savings Bank, the same institution that uh, Credit Sesame. This is the same institution that Credit Sesame. So now you can have multiple cards with the fi same financial institution that's helping you build up your credit. Now, for those of you that have challenging credit and you're able to get into Navy Federal, I always tell you to start with the Navy Federal and rewards card, also building up Navy Federal internal score. Now, how do you do that? Building up the inter Navy Federal internal score. The internal score goes from 100 to 450. Now, the ways to do that, you can um, have direct deposit, open up an in rewards card, and this is for people with bad credit. This is why I'm telling you this, that's going to help you. I've had clients, plenty of clients, they did exactly what I said. They opened up the personal checking account, they um, did the direct deposit, they opened up the savings account, they got the in rewards, they got the pledge loans, and what ended up happening, even with 550 credit scores, they was approved for a regular unsecured credit card as well. So that's the reason that I'm telling you guys the stuff that I'm sharing with you actually works because plenty of people are follow, following my instructions and they're having success. Now, here's another credit card you can get with bad credit as well that won't put an inquiry on your credit when you're trying to get it. It's called the Opfi card. The limit starts at 1000 and then after six months, it doubles up to, excuse me, it doubles up to 2000 So for those of you that's building up your credit and stuff like that, I would definitely encourage you to really um, follow my instructions and start building up your credit this way. Now, if you have other questions about business credit, personal credit, uh, click the link in the description and schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation. Also, look at and get your real uh, FICO score as well because with Credit Sesame, they're going to give you a Vantage score, okay? Thank you.